Time for winter vacation. Amazing. I can't wait until we finally arrive at the cabin and heat up by the fireplace. Are we there yet? We've been walking for four hours now. If I knew how far it was, I would have landed closer. Landed closer? You have crashed landed the ship, Anakin. It was an improvised landing. I told you, Master, that spinning is not a good trick. Master Yoda, hurry up. You are too slow. Sixty-six centimeters in height, I am Master Kenobi. Difficult to wade through this deep snow. For me, it is. My god, why is it so cold out here? Anakin, can you be more appreciative for once? It was too much sand on the beach, and here it's too cold. I have to admit it's definitely better than our last vacation. I still have PTSD from that sand burial thing. Stop being a snowflake, Sky Guy. The cabin should be just a little further away. I hope Rex will be there too. Why do you keep talking about Rex Ahsoka? It makes me uncomfortable. Rex and I have spent a lot of time together lately. That guy has really bulked up. I wonder if he has a girlfriend. Gross. Ahsoka, you have to abandon any feelings of strong sexual desire and avoid entertaining thoughts or fantasies that may lead to increased arousal. Didn't you mean to say, stop being horny? Whatever. Let's move. Oh no, there was supposed to be a crossroads here, and I'm not sure if we should go down or straight ahead. Which way will we go then? I feel like we should go straight, Master. It's settled then, Anakin. We will go down. What? Why? Anakin, of all the people I know, you have the worst sense of direction. Master Obi-Wan is right. I have a great sense of direction. Really? Don't you remember how our last trip to Mustafar turned out? Anakin, I think this isn't Mustafar. Why do you think so? Well, firstly, I don't remember any tower with a magical eye on top on Mustafar. Maybe they built it recently. Plus, the Mustafarians look more hideous than usually. Look, Master, a golden ring. What was that? Still better than sand beaches. Whatever. I'm going down. All right. Let's go, Ahsoka. We are going straight ahead. I'll go with Master Obi-Wan. Sorry, Master. I guess it's just you and me, Master Yoda. Nope. Downhill will I go. Okay, fine. Go then. I will show you who has bad sense of direction, Master. Why did you leave Nebula with General Luminara? She was the only one available. Yeah, but I don't like how she only feeds her the vegan food. Do you think I should get a haircut? Okay, now I'm a little bit confused. Ha! Would you look at that? I'm the first one here. Honey, where have you been? And where is Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, and Yoda? We split up because we couldn't agree on which way to go, and I was the only one who guessed the right path. And you were the one who guessed the right path? With your sense of direction? Why does everyone keep mentioning my sense of direction? Well, long story short, it's terrible. Don't you remember how it went in the Battle of Tiburon? General, I don't think this is Tiburon. Why do you think so, Rex? Firstly, there's no Separatist fleet here. That's great news. The siege will be quick then. And secondly, there's no Tiburon here either. That explains the emptiness of space around us. That was a mistake of the onboard computer. Whatever. Look out. Oh yeah? You want to start a snowball fight? You stand no chance. Boys, let's show General Skywalker how it's done. You will have to do better than that. Ha, now that's a snowball. Hope Obi-Wan arrives soon. I have a snowball right for him. It must be just around the corner. Oh, hello, little Annie. How sir, are you? Oh, hey, Jar Jar, it's good. How about you? Oh, man, Jar Jar is living his life. Definitely not doing anything shady, like trying to control the minds of clones through the creation of a religious cult with the aim of taking over the Republic and overthrowing the Supreme Chancellor and the Jedi Order. No, I could never do that. Good old Jar Jar is an honest senator. Hmm. Good to know. Can you lend me your lightsaber, Annie? I want to joggle with it. What? No. Are you drunk, Jar Jar? Always! I'm a senator, after all. 
Master Kenobi, I think we are lost. Nonsense, Ahsoka. The end of this cave must be certainly near. I'm sure of it. Perhaps go back we should. We will be fine, trust me. <laughs> what was that? Ani, come have some hot cocoa. Annie, are you okay? Where are they? They should have been here a long time ago. Don't worry. They'll be fine. But what if they get lost in the snow, freeze, or worse, encounter a wampa? Those wild beasts would tear them to pieces. Annie, stop with your racial stereotypes. Everyone knows that wampas are intelligent and calm creatures. Really? Unless you boldly enter their cave uninvited. In that case, they get very angry. Run! But you have to be careful. A lot of them are involved in get-rich-quick schemes. Look, there is one over there. I'm telling you, my cousin works directly with Jabba Tate. If you buy real Tatooine, you will get rich and escape from the Matrix. Will you join? Totally. Nice. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, and they're also great lovers. What? Don't tell me you had something with a wampa. If only with one. Padme! I don't know why are you making such a big deal out of this. So what? I went on a date with a couple of wampas. A couple? How would you react if you found out that your partner was tag-teamed by wampas? I guess I would be mad. Thank you. For not inviting me. Oh, come on. We have finally arrived. Oh, hi, Master Kenobi. I have something for you. Ugh. What was that about? You missed the snow fight. Where have you been? We accidentally wandered into a Wampa's cave. Was he angry? He seemed angry, but in the end, he just wanted to offer us financial products. I, for example, bought insurance against the fall of the Jedi Order. Yes, Master Yoda. And I also told you it was a completely stupid investment. The chances of the Jedi Order falling down are close to zero. We will see. Better safe than sorry. Help! Jedi! Okay, this is the last one. Vaguely remember I? That someone there was who told me? That insurance against fall of Jedi Order? A stupid idea is. Oh lord, not this again. Right was I, again. Oh, hey, big boy. Hi, Ahsoka, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, would you like you to go to Hot Tub with me? Well... Sorry, Ahsoka, I'll borrow Rex for a moment. Rex, what are you doing? Stop hitting on my Padawan. First of all, she is hitting on me. And secondly, I don't understand what the problem is. Rex, she's 17. So what? I'm 13. Wait, what? What do you mean 13? Remember, accelerated growth and all that. I have the body of a 26-year-old man but practically I'm only 13 years old. Huh. This galaxy really don't care about child labor laws. Tell me about it. I can't even legally drink on Coruscant. But still, behave yourself, or we'll play Catch the Rex. Hey, Ahsoka, catch the Rex! What? <coughs> nice throw, Master. God, that was terrible. Now watch this. Please no. <coughs> oh, Lord, please no Catch the Rex. So we understand each other. Great. Behave, Rex. Be strong. Come on, Rex. I'm waiting. Why is this happening to me, for God's sake? There are really nice ski slopes here. We should go skiing tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds like a plan for the next episode. Making plans for skiing? Not without me. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Where is my lightsaber? Oh, Misa getting good at this. Oopsie. Hmm. Much effort it took, but the best snowman I've ever crafted it must be. Great. Back to work. Jar Jar, give it back. Sorry, little Annie. Ah, good old Jar Jar. I can't be mad at you. So innocent. We will unfortunately have to end this video here, our dear viewers. Anakin is right for once. But do not worry. We will be back soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Goodbye, and as always, for the Republic.